Exception handling. Hi Mark, I was just wondering if planes are so safe, then why do they ask us to wear seat belt? Well John, wearing a seat belt does not prevent accidents, but at least it helps you in damage control. Similarly, we can put a seat belt to your coat so that if something goes wrong, we can at least reduce the damage cost. For instance, see if this coat works well. So this code has a method called calculate expenditure. Uh, in the list of values, so you're able to observe that it has a number and string. Now we are passing this, and every time total is getting added. We take value by value and adding it to total. That's how it works. <clears throat> so next code this it says unsupport apparent because when 100 is added to the total, no problem. 200 is added to the total, no problem. 300 is also no problem. But when 400 is added. It is actually a string. Let's visualize this. So the program flow starts from list of values. A list is created with five values. In that, four are numbers and one is string. We call this method. We take total as zero. Expenditure in list. So expenditure will take first value, 100 now. 100. So total is equal to 200 plus expenditure. So it becomes 100. Then 100 plus 200, 300. Then 300 plus 300, 600. Then this 400 comes in. Look at this. It is a string. When you try to add this, the problem raise. Type error. Unsupported operand. We cannot perform addition between string and a number. Integer. That is a problem. We got an error in the code. One way to take care of such error situation is to use selection selection constructs. The error was due to addition of a string. 400 to an integer. If you add a condition to check whether the expenditure is of type int, that would solve this error. But that cannot, that can cause further issues. Let's see what. Right. So here they check they are trying to if it is of integer, then they perform this. Then if it is not of integer, then it gives a wrong uh, data type message. But the problem is when you execute this, it says it also gives us output. It is a not right output. 100, 200, 300, it adds up to this and gives us a result. It has to add 500. If it is integer, it needs to be converted to integer, right? Otherwise, it has to throw some error. Look at this. We get an error message named as wrong data type, but also get an output, partial output. So, this is not right. In Python, we can create a try and catch block of code, except a block of code. If any error occurs in the try block of code, it will jump to accept block of code. Once the accept block is executed, the code continues to execute other statements outside the accept block. So if you look at this, the logic is placed within try. If there is a problem, there is an error, then it goes to accept part. And after this try if something similar to if else. after this try if try accept, it comes to line number 10. Let's execute this and see the result some error required right because here while performing addition some error were error required so it is giving a message and finally it is returning from the function so we are not printing value it, this printing is not happening because since you, in the previous code we have used the same uh, previous program we have used the same code we also had print statement after a for loop but though uh, when the error was thrown the print also was executed but since you have placed within a try when this process is not completed, even at the end of uh, you know completion, if there is an error, then automatically it goes to except except part. So the types of errors. So the, these are built-in exceptions. Type errors. Uh, built-in exception to handle errors. Zero divisional. If you're trying to divide a number by zero, then that's a problem. When a value it is used when value is divided by zero. Type error. When you try to do an operation with the incompatible data type. So as we did now, come trying to add integer and string the problem raises when you're trying to access a variable which is not defined at all then that's when the name error occurs when you're trying to access an element uh, in an array which is uh, out of index say for example if there are four elements look at this this but has four elements num list has four elements if you're trying to access element num list of five num list of four num list of uh, minus one num list of minus one is different but when something beyond the index right then the problem raise. 
So if the uh, array is bound to have five values, if you're trying to access sixth element, right? We know that the index starting in this example, index start from zero, one, two, three. We can access element up to num list of zero, one, two, three. But you're trying to access num list of four. So index error, out of range. Value error. When you use a value data type for an argument of a built-in function, but passes an invalid value for it. Look at this example. If string has 300 string as string variable has 300 which is in double quotes if we convert it into integer it will be converted that is fine but when a string has alphabets trying to convert it to integer it creates a problem so that's when the value error a built-in exception is being used python allow also allows us to handle different errors that can occur separately that means you can have a different action or a message for every unique error that occurs. Here is a sample expenditure calculation code with additional average expenditure calculation. Calculation. So you can try and see the output. It's a strong data type. Look at this. So we have a zero division error. We have type error. We can also have name error, right? We can also have index error. All that are possible. And this is something like except is something like a default. If none of the exceptions are caught then finally it comes to this block and execute please try this uh, program on your id so default exit block is the one without any type mention it is a default there's a default exception block if an error occurs and the matching exit block is found then that is executed for example this is a type error if you're trying to because when the value is 400 then it becomes wrong data type so type error is cap is caught if an error occurs that the matching except block is not found then what happens it by default it comes to a default exception block if an error occurs and the matching except block is not found and if default except block is also not found then the code crash, crashes that's where the problem rises the default except block should be the last should present uh, if present should be the last except block otherwise it will result in a runtime error so we have placed this exception except there's a default exception block without any names like this we have placed it at end look at this uh, we will have to fix the error in this program code try except except the zero division error except type error there's a default block so we have placed a default block at the top that's a problem it works fine right it should be the last in the exception block in the airport even even if the airport security fails to detect some banned object that a passenger is carrying the flight check is in security is bound to catch it so there is some level of fallback security similarly is there any mechanism of fallback security in case of code execution failure yes indeed if an error occurs inside a function and if the error is not caught inside inside it then the error is transferred to the function call where we have another opportunity to catch it try the next code so let's visualize this code how it works we, we, we have tried uh, exception exception block in the function as well as in the main code right let's visualize this here um, let's see what is the error and how it is being thrown The flow starts from here, values are passed. We calculate uh, some sum total and try within try block we have to close this code. We try this, we add values. Now this is where the problem is total divided by number values. There is no such variable is defined num values is not in the scope of the function calculate sum is not being declared somewhere or initialized somewhere here so what happens this or the error we have got two types of error we are handling in the calculate sum function one is zero division error another one is type error so we are not handling this error name name error so what happens but we have handled it here in the main block so what happens the flow, uh, the, the, the error is transferred to the main block. It comes down, right? 
it does not accept zero division error it does not type error so what happens error is not caught in the function so it is transferred to main function let's see this look at this name error is written right name no value is not defined no, no, no well number values is not defined it says now what happens this name error is caught and it says name error acquired there's a the beauty of it hey mark recently while withdrawing money from an atm it became unresponsive but fortunately it was still able to reject my call out this is indeed fortunate sometimes in programming we need to execute some code irrespective of whether the primary program logic itself succeeds or fails to do its job in python we can achieve this using a finally block let's see it a finally block of statement is an optional part of try except statements a code written inside the finally block will always be executed let's visualize this visualize this code so it says we we get into this try if balance greater than or equal to int of amount right in very little for int so amount is a variable which has a string but if it does only numbers we can actually convert since it also has 300 rs rupees then it is not possible to convert so there is a problem name error right no matter whether name error here we have no, we are not mentioned any name error no matter sorry type error here it is it's basically it's a type error so no matter whether we have mentioned it uh, whether we have mentioned it or not it executes it this uh, except block is executed also comes to default i mean this finally block it also come to finally block let's see this the flow moves to type error if this error is the corresponding error then this block of code will executed will get executed okay value error then what happens yes it is a value error again okay, it is caught then comes to finally look at this finally will always be executed take out as a function it is being called take the code out that is a message yes